Welcome to Abe's Front Porch Talk. I'm going to talk to you tonight about the Ark of the Covenant. And let's see what we can find out about the Ark of the Covenant from some of the research I have already done. Now, there's a lot of theories about the Ark of the Covenant, where it could be at. But no one really knows for sure where the Ark of the Covenant really is. So, therefore, there are people who are searching for the Ark of the Covenant. And I believe it's very dangerous for anybody to be on the search for this Ark of the Covenant, especially those that are preachers. Why would you, as a preacher, want to try and locate the Ark of the Covenant? You out of all people know better than to do this crap. Because you know from preaching the gospel that God destroyed people who messed with the Ark of the Covenant. And remember the people that stole the Ark of the Covenant and they became sick until it was returned? Not only that, but the great men that was carrying the covenant to a safe place, it shifted and almost fell, and one of the guys reached up and touched the Ark of the Covenant to keep it from falling and breaking on the ground, and God killed him. These are things you better think about. You, you preach this stuff, and you hear your Sunday school teachers that you're allowing to teach, and teach all of this, but yet you want to go out and try to find it yourself? What is wrong with you? Something's wrong with you. You know, if you find this, and I knew you as a preacher, and you found this, and you destroyed all mankind on earth, and God wasn't going to let you go to heaven and... I wasn't going to be able to make it to heaven for whatever earthly reason what i done probably sent my own self. Well, and then if you're going because you destroyed me in the process of your stupidity of this, I'm going to make sure you fry in the lake of fire. And I'm pretty sure there's going to be a millions of people at that time is going to make sure you fry and you will not be coming up for a fresh breath of air. But on the other hand, if God says you can be forgiven and come to heaven and I'm forgiven and go to heaven, I think I'm just going to talk to God about having you stay out the gate. Maybe along with the millions of other people. You just stand in front of the gate and we'll come up to you and say hi every now and then and talk to you just for a little bit and go on about our business. How's that sound? Would that be okay? Yeah, that's what I thought too. You want the whole thing, but you done took out the whole world. Leave the Ark of the Covenant alone is the point. You can curse your own self. You can curse your own family, and it's no telling how many generations it could go for when you do find this. There are researchers that are looking and digging. I've heard in one documentary, they believe it's in Canada. Another documentary believes it's in Jerusalem. Another one don't even really know for sure where it could be at. But they think it might be in Africa. No one knows where it is. God's got that Ark of the Covenant hid so well to keep from anybody finding this. 
I'm pretty sure at the end of time, he will bring it out wherever he's got it. That's when we will know where it's at. Leave it alone. Just don't fool with it. There's other stuff out here you can do. You can search for UFOs if you want to. Search for alien life. Find out where their homes are. But leave the Ark of the Covenant alone. I cannot stress this enough. That's like playing Russian roulette. Leave it alone. What makes you think God wants you to find that and search for it and find it and touch it when it was forbidden for the times of old, but yet you say God does not change and his word still stands today as it did 2,000 years ago and only man changed, but God doesn't change. But yet you want to go try to find this Ark of the Covenant. This don't make no sense. There's no way around that you can say, Oh, th things has changed now. He allow you to do it. No, if he didn't allow the great men of old to do it, and they couldn't do it back in the Old Testament, you sure cannot do it even today. That's why he hid this Ark of the Covenant so well. Be careful. Watch what you do. We should not even be searching for that when there's other stuff we could search for. You could actually search for cures to help with cancer and HIV or AIDS and the main deadly stuff that's killing people, which I believe there are cures for out here, but our government just don't release it. And I'll talk about that one later on. Sometimes down the road, but don't know when. But, the Ark of the Covenant is sacred. Let it stay sacred. You know, whoever you are that's trying to find this, I beg you to leave it alone. To stop. It's none of our business where it's at until the end of the world. And even if God decides then to let us know where it is. But at the same time, I saw on a documentary, I'm thinking it's in Canada, that these people were digging into the ground. And they dug so deep into the ground that there was supposed to be like two holes inside of the ground that they dug into. One on this side and one on this side. And there was one up, a hole up on the top here on the right. And then another hole down here on the bottom left. And they was just a few feet from each other. Well, when you got below those two holes, when you went past that first one, water filled up. And you had to get out quick, they said. Or you would have drowned. And once you was out, the water disappeared. It went back out into the sea somehow, or the ocean. And they... They said they took a bucket, I believe it was, or something, and stuck down there again and went, let it go past the holes, or past that first hole. As soon as it did, water came pouring out of both ends and started filling up, and they had to pull the bucket out. Now, they think there's something there that's causing that, but they don't know what it is. They kind of wondered if the Ark of the Covenant could be there. But they don't know. They can't get to it. So let's just say, for an example, if the Ark of the Covenant 
is there. Do you see where I was coming from earlier? Saying that it's dangerous if you find it, you could curse yourself or destroy all mankind when you do. Because if it's there, God put the holes in the ground and for the ocean to come through those holes to fill up to keep anybody from getting to it. He does not want no one touching it. So, that tells you if it is there in that one spot, you need to use some wisdom and knowledge on that one. He's saying, leave it alone. Leave it alone, he says. But this is the end of Abe's Front Porch Talk. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to subscribe. Pass it to your family and friends. Hit the like button. Leave a comment. And thank you for watching.